Hello everyone, this is Swati. Today we are going to see a topic on denudation. So, this comes under the geomorphic process which has two forces on it, endogenic and exogenic. We have seen about the endogenic process in the previous video. We will be seeing about the exogenic process. It has three types, weathering, erosion and moss blasting which three joins together and due to the denudation. So we will be seeing about the weathering in this video. So uh, what is a weathering? A weathering is a disintegrator or decomposed process which is done in a physical or mechanical way. So the weathering is disintegrated by the physical or chemically decomposed by the fragments. So this has a very influenced uh, topics which such as the hardness of the rocks, the shapes of the rocks, the climates, the mechanical things and about the physical and the mechanical way. So this has three types of physical things. So such as the physical and mechanical weathering, chemical weathering or biological or organic weathering. So let's first see about the Physical weathering. These are all the topics which is coming under the physical weathering. That's frost action, crystallization, hydration and exfoliation. So let's first see what is a physical weathering. So the rocks are physically disintegrated into such a small small fragments. So this usually happens due to the extreme climates and due to the change of day and night temperatures. So this is the main cause of the physical weathering. So now let's see about the topics which is coming under the physical weathering. Let's first see about the frost action. The frost action talks about the water expands 9% of its volume when it starts to freeze. And this expansion creates a great mechanical force which is called as the freeze action or frost action. This is also called as the freeze thaw action. So this is very important in the altitude, high altitude climates and in the polar regions. We have seen about the frost action. Let's see about the crystallization. The crystallization talks about the phenomenon of arid and semi-arid climates. The arid means a very dry place whereas no man is able to survive or no vegetation is able to cultivate there. Those places are called is also called as the dry or desert place. So now the crystallization, when the crystallization dries, the crystals tends to expand its levels. That expansion is called as the process crystallization. So let's see about the hydration. Hydration is a physical process where the water is added to the other minerals which adds a stress or a force on it which, uh, which, which it expands in a great way and burst. So that process is called as the hydration. Let's see about the exfoliation. This is a physical process where the metals are broken without any striped thing. So that is called as the exfoliation. So this is also called as the Orient weathering and it has shapes which has arch and domed shapes of exfoliation dome. That's the name of this exfoliation process. Now we have completed seeing the physical weathering. Let's go to the chemical weathering. The chemical weathering has the topics oxidation, carbonation, hydrolysis and solution. Let's first see what is a chemical weathering. The chemical weathering are the things where rocks are decomposed by its own due to the weathers and the climate changes. So this uh, talks about the physical is not important than the chemical weathering. The chemical weathering is one of the most important things for the rock cycle. Now let's see about the oxidation which comes under the Chemical weathering. The oxidation is the process where the oxide is uh, is joined with the oxygen.
and this is the main cause of rusting of the iron you can see your windows have rusted and you have to paint it again that is the main cause with the reddish brown metal comes now let's see about the carbonation the carbonation is the thing which talks about the carbon where the weak carbonation is added to the carbon which has iron potassium calcium and magnesium with the sodium on it so this is how the uh, carbonation is formed these are all the very important minerals and elements for the carbonation so let's see about the hydrolysis hydrolysis is the meaning where the limestone is enlarged and this hydrolysis talks about the expansions of the water now let's go to the solution the limestone where the solid state changes into the liquid states how we add something to that so that is called as the solution now let's see the third type of weathering which is biological or organic weathering so what is biological weathering a biological weathering is the disintegration of rocks by its own or by the cause of the human or the living organisms for example fungus mosses langis or some of the example how the organic weathering is formed so hope you like the video and understand about the weathering process we'll be seeing about the moss blasting and the erosion in the upcoming videos thank you bye bye